After spending way too many hours in the game and leveling way up, the experience of hiking halfway across the map to a settlement just to put a silencer onto a gun or lugging around a bunch of desk fans and giddy up buttercup legs just to scrap some screws out of them starts to lose its charm, especially in survival mode where carry weight is a premium and fast travel is disabled. The mobile mechanic adds a craftable, portable workbench which allows you to do any kind of crafting anywhere you want, including the ability to scrap junk into its core components, so you don't have to lug around a bunch of alarm clocks if all you want are the base components. As a bonus, I've included some updated welding goggles and a welding mask, which were accessories on some vanilla outfits but are now wearable on their own. At the chem station under utility, you'll see portable workbench. This is the base item and is required to do any kind of crafting. You'll also see various portable workbench kits. Each one of these kits is required to be in your inventory in order to perform the respective type of crafting. For example, if I want to craft chems and do mobile scrapping, I'll need to craft the chemistry kit and the scrap kit and keep them with me along with the bench. Each kit requires the first perk in the respective tree, for example, gun nut one, armor one, as well as the first rank of the scrapper perk. To activate the portable workbench, you simply find it under the MISC tab and drop it from your inventory. The bench will set itself up in front of the player and will be ready to use. Activating the workbench will show you crafting options based on the crafting kits you have in your inventory. Select one and off you go. Each kit weighs 4 pounds, so pay attention to how much weight you're adding. To scrap, make sure you have the scrap kit in your inventory along with the portable workbench. Drop the portable workbench from your inventory to set it up, activate it, and select Scrap Station. You'll be asked to scrap all auto or scrap selected. Scrap all will take all of the junk from your inventory, scrap it, and return you the components. Be careful because you might not want to scrap everything this way. Scrap selected will pop open a container allowing you to place only the items that you want to scrap. Closing the container will pop up a confirmation to scrap the items or abort and return everything back into your inventory. Anything that isn't junk will be returned to the player when this process is complete. During the process, you'll hear clanking and wrenching as the junk is disassembled and it'll take just a couple of seconds. During this time, the bench cannot be activated as a safeguard. This has been tested using every junk item in the game at once and over 5,000 pounds of various scrap and has not had any problems, but please let me know if you experience anything. Because the power armor stations behave completely different than normal benches, these had to be separate items. The bonus is that these have their own unique station mesh. At the chem station under utility, you'll see portable power armor station. Craft this to receive the misc item in your inventory. You will need rank 1 of the armorer perk and rank 1 of the scrapper perk in order to craft this station. To activate the portable power armor station, simply find it under the misc tab and drop it from your inventory. The bench will set itself up in front of the player ready for use. To pick it up, hover over it and beside the standard use and transfer options, you will see pick up, which is usually spacebar on the PC. Upon activation, your power armor will snap into place on the mat. Make sure you have enough space around the station though, or the animation won't trigger. It's usually best to just set up in the middle of a room. If you have trouble, just pick up the station and drop it again further away from any walls or obstacles and reactivate it to continue. Any items stored in the station will be returned to the player inventory upon picking it up. I should mention that sometimes the animations on some of the benches don't completely line up because they were made for the large benches, but that's always blurred in the background so it shouldn't be too big of a deal anyway. And that about sums it up. Tell me what you think in the comments below, like and subscribe for more stuff, and of course if you like this mod, an endorsement is always appreciated. If you use a lot of my stuff and would like to go a step beyond that, consider becoming a supporter on my Patreon. Donations received go to software licenses and other expenses, like coffee, that enable me to keep making cool stuff. But please do not feel obligated. For as much as I truly appreciate it, I'm also just as happy hearing a nice comment from you guys. Take care, see you guys next time.